Hello, and thank you for joining me for our daily devotion as we wrap up our week. Uh, today, I'd like to focus on what is upcoming in this next week. It's something you're probably already preparing for, the place you're going to go, the people you're going to stay with, and especially the food that you're going to eat. Uh, that's right, Thanksgiving is this next week, and it's a wonderful celebration for us to be able to give thanks for that which God has provided, is providing, and continues to provide every day in our lives. In fact, that's what our uh, chapel is going to be about, our special service that we have for Thanksgiving Day. Uh, it'll be released on Thursday morning, uh, so please catch that. Pastor Mark and myself talking about uh, the real meaning of being able to, to give thanks. So uh, before we uh, get to our Bible verse for today, I just wanted to share something uh, from our preschool. Uh, we had an opportunity for all the preschool students and our kindergarten students this week to be able to do something that wasn't just in giving thanks, but also focusing on that aspect of actually just giving. Uh, so for the past two weeks, we've had all of our uh, school children bring in all different types of Thanksgiving food items peas, uh, corn, yams, mashed potatoes, stuffing, you name it. And then this week we did two really big fun chapels for the kids talking about giving thanks. But then we talked about this aspect of giving. And so after the chapel, we had all the students and their parents come together and organize all these food products that had been collected to be able to put in different boxes so families in our community that aren't as well off as most of us are uh, can have time to be able to gather with their family and give thanks and have a, a proper meal around them. And so today I want you to think about that as we read our Bible verse. It's from the book of Luke in which God, uh, Jesus, really challenges us to be able not just to, to give thanks for what we have received, but also to be able to share these blessings with others, to be able to actually give to people around us. It comes from the book of Luke, and it's uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Jesus says, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Think about that. Uh, this concept of being able to, to give to others. The measure that we use will be measured unto you. Now, this isn't a concept of saying, hey, if you give more money to uh, charities or to your church, that all of a sudden God is just going to give you more money. Don't uh, misunderstand that. However, it is encouraging us to be able to give to people around us and to be able to serve people around us. I don't know about you, but when I do that, when I provide something for people around me, when I sacrifice time for service elements around me, and I feel so amazing. And this too is not the, the goal of that, but it's how God works in our lives. Allowing us to be able to give to others actually strengthens who we are, uh, not just how we feel, but actually our, our faith. It's a way that we're sharing Jesus with people around us. And so as we look forward to our week next of Thanksgiving that is yet to come, many of us will say thanks around our table. And you should do that and give thanks for the, the things that God has provided. But what are the things also that you can give? Think about that uh, strongly with me today. Do you have an hour that you can donate to a local food bank to be able to serve them? Do you have an hour uh, to be able to dedicate to uh, a veterans organization that you can help them out in some way? Have you been blessed uh, physically? Are there some things around your house that are fantastic elements that you're just not using anymore? Maybe clothing that you could donate to an organization. Maybe it's a, a spare bed that isn't just not being used that you can donate to an organization. Maybe it's the end of the year and there's funds that you have that you can dedicate to a certain organization, uh, to a congregation, and to be able to support somebody, to be able to give back to the, to the Lord. There's a lot of different things that we can do, but we need to focus on it because I promise you uh, the food will come, 
the friends and family will come, but let's focus on our faith and what that means for everything surrounds that in which our Lord has given to us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the opportunity uh, both to be able to give thanks to you and to be able to give to others. And so Lord, motivate us today to be able to share in whatever way you are calling our heart. Not just to hear this message and say, somebody else will do that or I'll do it later, but uh, allow us to be very just intentional, Lord, about the ways that we see your spirit moving us in the world. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right, blessings upon your weekend.